Okay. Thank you, Carissa. Our next recipient is our boy. It's Jacob Deemer. He's from the Gannon University. He has a 4.0 plus grade point average. He's ranked number three in his class. He did seven years with the Lions program. His activities, he's in the Leo Club, 7th through 10th, student council, grades 7 through 12. He was class president, grade 9. Musical, grade 12. He played basketball, 7 through 10. Football, varsity, 9 through 12. Track and field, 10 through 12. Jake Demon. the Burgestown Lions organization for choosing me as recipient of this scholarship. I'm truly honored to be standing here today. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Jacob Deemer, and I started playing football for the Burgestown Lions at the age of seven. Since then, I have been a football player for 11 years, and I've never missed a season. I also played for the Blue Devils during those 11 years, and the number one lesson I took from football is to enjoy it while it lasts. I had my last football game ever last Saturday against Wash High. Before the game, I found myself reminiscing and wondering where the time had gone. You know, all my life I had been a football player. Football had defined the man I was to become, and now it was over. Football, the night before the game, I was awake all night. I was reminiscing and I was remembering how my mom used to dump water on my head during water breaks when I started playing football. I remembered how Coach Ray would always call Power Eye 43 blasts every game on the first play. I remember my first touchdown, which was a 46-yard punt return against Potter. I remember running practice, I mean running tires during practice and wanting to die the whole time. I remembered how terrible six inches were, especially with the coach yelling, Six inches, not three feet. I remember the Mud Bowl game against Quaker Valley. People couldn't even walk, we were slipping everywhere. Or Coach Kenny screaming at us before the game, saying something about hitting harder. Unfortunately, I don't really remember what he said because I was too busy laughing because his face was so red. Or the time whenever Gilbert Poor would get destroyed by Zach Bertolotti every single play, and he would stand up and call him out for more. Lions football was the best time of my life. I would give anything just to have one more practice, Coach Luke or Coach Ray, and suit up with the guys one last time. I would not trade a single moment of Lions football for anything in the world. If it were not for Lions football, I do not think that I would have been able to play for the high school. Just like everybody else, I was nervous whenever I went out my freshman year for the Blue Devils. I thought I was gonna be too little or too weak. I thought that I was going to get killed every single play, get hurt, you know. I mean this, guys. It's not that bad. I definitely recommend going out for the varsity team when you're old enough. I can honestly say that those players who had the background from Lions football were a step ahead of the game whenever we were at that age. Lions laid the groundwork for the type of player that I became. The first day of practice my freshman year, I remember getting the ball thrown to me and getting tackled by Nick Daz. I figured that, you know, he's going to hit me and I'm going to get hurt. Or it's going to, you know, I'm going to be out for the season or something. I realized after the hit, it didn't really hurt. You know, all it takes is one hit to get over your fear. It's actually kind of fun. Varsity football takes the intangibles you learn from lines and expands upon them. The lessons learned from football can be used in every aspect of life. For example, football requires teamwork. In order to be successful in the field and in life, you have to communicate with your peers. You have to be able to interpret directions and come together as one to get a task completed. 
I want to become a nurse anesthetist whenever I get older. For those of you who do not know what a nurse anesthetist is, it is essentially an anesthesiologist who is in charge of administering anesthetics to a patient and consulting with them about treatment options. This career field will place me in a hospital environment. Since an operating room requires many different people working together, you have to be able to work together to make sure the surgery goes as planned. Thus, football teaches everybody involves self-discipline. Guys, a coach can only take you so far. Each person has to find the power within themselves to, keep, to continue. Self-discipline goes hand in hand with respect. You gotta have that inner fire, but know when to control it to succeed. In life, you will have to give respect to someone, whether it being a boss, a friend, or even a coach. I believe that you only get what you give. Be nice to everyone you see because you see, because you see the same people on your rise to the top as you do as you fall to the bottom. You receive constructive criticism from, scope, from your coach. It may seem as if they are just yelling at you because they don't like you, but I assure you, they care for each and every one of you, and they want to see you play to the best of your ability. They want to see you guys succeed. The great thing about football that you may not get in life is there's always a second chance. You may screw up on a play, drop a pass, fumble, miss a tackle, and it's okay. You know, there's always next play. Put it behind you. But sometimes in life, one screw up means it's all over. Like I said before, enjoy each moment, be active, join as many clubs and as organizations as you can. Be involved in the student body and study hard. Hit the books as much as you can because it'll pay off in the long run. Take each moment and each challenge, being football or any other endeavor, with a smile. I'd once again like to thank the Burgestown Lions organization for this scholarship, but also I want to thank the coaches and the players for helping to find the man that I am today. Good luck to each and every one of you for the future, and good luck, Ryan.